The Arlington School Board held a special meeting on Tuesday, November 20th, to inform and hear feedback from residents about the decision made the previous week by the State Board of Education to assign the Arlington and Sandgate School Districts to the Southwest Vermont Supervisory Union. The move will dissolve the existing Battenkill Valley Supervisory Union, which was originally created in the 1980s to allow Arlington to run its own school district and supervisory union separate from the SVSU, which they had been a part of. Up until fairly recently, a general assumption seemed to be that the two districts would be placed within the Bennington Rutland Supervisory Union, and the decision to place them elsewhere appeared to bubble up somewhat unexpectedly and without much detailed discussion between school officials. Both Arlington and Sandgate will retain their own school districts and school boards and not be forced into a merger with other districts. Local schools in Arlington will remain under the school board's control. Board Chairwoman Nicole Whalen described where things stood. Arlington as a pre-K-12 district, Sandgate as a non-operating district, will become part of the SVSU. What that means for us, this group here, well, it's, whether it's us <laughs> or some other representation of the board, we will still have a board of directors that operates our schools here locally. We will have our own budget. Um, our school board will function as it does today, managing our local schools. The unique situation, I think, for a lot of people in the community to kind of wrap their heads around is we are the smallest SU in the state. So for a lot of people in town, there's not a lot of line of distinction between what is, what is SU and what is school district. Um, so there was a lot of initial concern. What does this mean for us? How will this impact us? Um, and candidly, what happens here on a pretty regular basis, nothing, these changes won't impact that. Um, you know, of all of the things that have happened through Act 46 and all of the communities that are really struggling with the changes that the State Board and the Agency of Education are recommending, we're incredibly lucky um, for us. We're not being forced to to change what we do here day to day. So of all of the possible outcomes, I think everybody here at this table, um, and I know our, our principals support it as well, see this as a, a pretty big victory for us. Um, we've had a lot of plans, we have a big vision, there are a lot of things that we want to do with our schools, and this gives us that opportunity to do that. But the satisfaction with the process about how the decision was arrived at was clear at the meeting. I found the way that which you were treated was disgusting. When I had two of my elected representatives go before that state board of nine non-elected representatives, together with the secretary who was not elected, uh, and you uh, are given four minutes, <laughs> all right, four minutes to make your presentation that's going to impact 440 students numbers of families for years to come, right? and all you were asking for was, six was months. To, give a, to give us time to put this thing together thoughtfully. And this is the way you were treated. Now I recognize, because I've been working with all of you for so long, that ultimately the supervisory union has to change. I know that. But it has to change under our guidance, under our way, and not be dictated to when something was pulled out of the blue. The, this, the process was, in my opinion, and I only speak for myself, not this board, was un, unethical and shameful. The decision was made before we stepped into that room on that particular day, okay? Um, I'm not upset with the outcome. I want, I want everybody to know that. I look forward to potentially working with the SVSU. I think that we'll be okay there. We'll, we will, this school system will thrive and grow no matter where we are. Uh, that's that's uh, to be unsaid, but you are correct. That process was extremely flawed. It was borderline disgusting, um, and like I've said numerous times, unethical and shameful. I have faith in our board. I think it will work out, but what I don't have faith in is a state agency that's got a conflict of interest, and we have no... We have nothing in writing as to why they, why and how they reached that decision. And I think they at least owe that to us. The school boards have until July 2021 before the reassignment of the districts occur in order to plan for an orderly transition. 
The State Board of Education felt that enough time had gone by with conversations between the several supervisory unions involved, and the time for a decision was at hand. Despite the unhappiness about how the decision was arrived at, for now at least, the pathway forward for the two school districts of Arlington and Sandgate involves them joining a new supervisory union in a couple of years. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.